the Norfolk and Western 746. Beautiful. Hello again, boys and girls, and welcome to another exciting edition of What's in the Box. So what am I doing? Um, my father collected Lionel trains and other manufacturers, MTH, K-Line, for over 70 years. He left us with uh, 209 boxes just like this. So it's my job to go through all these boxes, inventory and value the items, and then put them up for auction or for sale. Speaking of that, please go to trains.com, trains with a Z.com. That's the auction house I'm using. So if you see anything you like, you can go there. It's on their site. It's posted. It's a real, real easy place to go for, uh, for auctions. The last box we had, I had six different F3s. It was incredible. Over $6,000 in value. I love the F3. I'm not sure this is going to be as good, but let's get started and take a look. One thing I like about this box is it's old. It's an older Xerox box, which leads me to believe it has older items in there, like so hopefully some pre-war, post-war, but we'll see. Time for the box cam. Exciting. Okay. And we open it up, and what do we have? Oh, we have some uh, old Lionel boxes and some also other small boxes inside the carton. Stay open. Um, a lot of old line out boxes. Some of them are lighter. Maybe there's some kind of rolling freight. I'm not sure. And then we have that looks like a heavier box down there with maybe engines in them. Don't know, but we'll see. Item number one. Looks like an old cattle car. It's wrapped up pretty nicely. It's actually listed as a... 6656 stock car but it's going to be like for cattle or for hay it's going to be for animals probably cattle sheep goats something like that a 6472 refrigerator box car now of course i'm being very gentle with the boxes because they're worth a lot of money as well because they're you know from the 50s and 60s so the boxes are 50 years old also or 60 years old some of them And it is, as advertised, a refrigerated boxcar. Is this operating? Let's see if it's operating. Yes, it is. Let me see how this goes. So there should be a... I don't see... see normally, I see it. There's a guy inside that throws the milk out when it goes over the track. No, it's not operating. It just has these refrigerated boxcar doors that snap closed with springs, but there's no mechanism on the bottom that would allow it to be operated by a magnet where you would hit a button, a magnet activates that has the uh, little guy throw out a little metal milk jug, which is what the other ones have. So this is a refrigerator box car non-operating. Model number is 6472. 6454 just says box car, okay. I didn't break this off, I swear. It was like that, honestly. Okay. What does it say? NYC on there? New York Central, 159000. So it's an old orange. Oh, it's not a 6464 series. It's a smaller size, right? 6454. So it's a smaller size boxcar. Doors do operate and close. Very nice piece as well. These are all look like like right after world war ii maybe like the early, late 40s early 50s are heavier and they're in really good quality plastic not like that cheap plastic that came with the modern era these are heavier cars even though they're small box cars they're good quality and this is a 646w tender let me hold off on that i want to find the locomotive that goes with this first this is a my father has it listed as 6562 gondola with canisters. Gondola with canisters. <clears throat> Let's take a look and see what a gondola with canisters is going to look like. Is it like the pickle car? Or is it a gondola car? So it's not like the pickle car. It's like an oil tanker type thing. No, it's not. I remember this thing as a kid. Oh, there go the canisters. So here's your old style New York Central gondola. 
and the canisters, which he wrapped up very nicely. I don't want to break, but I keep dropping them in there. I th would they go this way or this way? I, I forget. They would go this way, the canisters, right? I don't think they would go that way. They would go this way, upright like this. So the canisters would go this way. Nice. I don't know what these would be in these canisters. If there's labeled with, it's supposed to simulate propane or some kind of fuel. It says air activated container. Maybe just air, but this has Lionel on it. So there's not even like a simulated, like, you know, Sunoco or anything else. That's how it goes. I recall seeing that many times. Pretty cool looking car right there. This is a newer box. 3494-150 MP. No idea what that means. No idea. Electric Trains America's Finest. But it doesn't say Lionel in the box. Oh, this is a rip-off box. The box does not say Lionel, but it's the Lionel colors. So this is a protector collection. So this is like a an aftermarket box manufacturer that simulates the Lionel look, but is not actually a Lionel official box. Up oh, another Eagle. We had one of these early on. This is an operating Eagle box for a while. The other one was not operating. So this is pretty cool. Um, so what happens on this one, as you can see, there is an actuator device on the bottom, which is a just it's going to be um, a magnetized. And when you go over a, a piece of track that has a magnet in it, an electromagnet, electromagnet in it, you hit a button by your uh, transformer in the orange button. You hit it and it activates this and it pulls that down and the little guy pops out. So we had an Eagle box car like this before, 6464. I'm not sure if this is a 6464 as well because it's operating. It says 3494-150. This is more of a modern era piece, I, I believe. I don't think it's as old as the other one, but I'll find out. <laughs> Back to the box cam for a second. Now we're getting into the remainder, which is non Lionel boxes or cartons inside the main box. So these are things my dad put together to protect items. These look like engines, so I'm kind of excited about that. I know we have at least one tender coming up. Um, because we have a locomotive tender that I already took off up top. So let's take a look. Gondola with six barrels. It says red NYC, which is, of course, New York Central. So the same gondola car, possibly. The other one was gray. This one, it says, is red. Oh, but this has barrels in it, though, so it doesn't have... And it's these little brown barrels in it, and there's six of them. I wonder if they actually go with this car, because the barrel car normally comes with a barrel loader, and it's a special car that actually opens up so you can roll the barrels on with an accessory piece, but they're packaged together. New York Central Red Gondola, number 6462, with six wooden barrels. Another 6032 gondola. It's a gondola box so far. You got this is the third gondola. Three gondolas, four box cars. As I said, I don't dislike rolling freight, but I like locomotives and diesels a lot better. A black gondola. Just the line L on it on the side. So we have uh, this one's a lot this one's shorter than the other ones. Again, the number 6032. Longer box. 6560 crane car, black and red, a crane car. I'm going to be gentle with this one. It feels like it has a very fragile piece on top. Probably the crane. Oh, it is. The, the entire thing is a crane car. Okay, I recall this as a kid too. Haven't seen this in a while. Interesting look, right? Interesting kind of piece. Um, it's all manual, so you don't actually have anything. You crank it by hand to bring it up, and you would crank it like this when you ran it with the other trains, the other freight trains, the, uh, the other freight cars, because you don't want to have the uh, 6560. You don't want to have this thing down because it'll, it'll bang into the other cars, but that's what it looks like. It's no nothing about it is motorized. It's all manual, manual crank. It says, uh, is it Bucky Russ Erie? Bucky Russ Erie. Okay, cool. All right, got one of the heavy pieces out now. Okay, 
It says 2346 on the side. So this could be an original box. No, it's a standard container box certificate from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So it's not a, a Lionel box itself. It's some other kind of box that my dad normally puts engines in. Heavy carton, so it's, it feels... Oh, it feels good right now. Coming out, nice. It is very heavy. And it's plastic feeling, so it's going to be a diesel locomotive and not a steam locomotive. All right. One of my favorite engines of all time, the Boston Main. Look at how beautiful that engine is. Holy crap, right? I know I went crazy over the boxcar, but I don't know. something about the colors of this engine. The blue, the black, and the white. Look at how beautiful it is. This is the GP9, the 2346. This engine is in incredible shape. I recall it, I seen it when I was younger. It's, I think it came out in the 1950s, 57, 58. It's old, but look at the, the attention to detail with the color pattern. The black and the white there, the blue, the black and white lettering. But I love the Boston Maine. Incredible. So... Love the GP9. Oh, by the way, the GP9 and GP7 is this little cap right here. So this exact same exact engine without this cap on here, this little this little piece right here is a GP7. When it has the cap on there, Lionel called it a GP9. I don't know why. You can actually buy these caps and make GP7s into GP9s for whatever reason. I found one example of why it was done. My father purchased a Minneapolis St. Louis GP7 and there was a cigarette burn on it or some kind of burn on the top of it. So you went out and you bought a cap, an aftermarket cap, and put it on there, turned it into a GP9 just to cover up the burn mark. But um, that's what it is. I love this engine. Boston, Maine. This could be a keeper. Santa Fe Power A unit, 2353. Another F3. Another Santa Fe F3. I think he has eight of these. He has eight Santa Fe F3s. Some with two motors, some with one motor. This is very, very heavy, and I have to go back and find out why the numbers are different. They are manufactured different years. Lionel may have manufactured more Santa Fe F3s than any other kind of um, engine. I'd have to go back and check on that too, but I'm pretty sure because there's so many different numbers of the Santa Fe versus Texas Special, Illinois Central, Rio Grande only have a couple numbers or one number, like um, Canadian, Canadian Pacific has one number. Yeah, that's, this is pretty beat up. It's an older engine, I believe. Let's see. Well, it's got plastic vents on top, and it's got, but it has metal ladders. It looks like an older engine. It is, it is fairly worn. It's not as nice as the other, as the other F3s we had before. It's a little worn, but it's still a Santa Fe. So I would expect the uh, Santa Fe B unit to be in here too. Or the, it's either an AA or an AB or an ABA configuration, but there's only two boxes left inside, so I assume one of them is the, uh, is the back of this. We'll see. Another heavy black, heavy black, heavy brown box. It says number 746, but I don't know if that means anything, if this is an original Lionel box or not. Express Container Corporation out of Newark, New Jersey. So, again, I'm not sure if these are the... See, the thing is that these trains fit perfectly in these boxes, so you wonder if they're actually... were shipped this way from the manufacturer, Lionel, or whether people just bought these boxes aftermarket and put stuff in them. Feels like it's a very heavy engine. It feels like another GP7, GP9 type engine. It's not, wow, it's the 746, just like the box says. This is one of the coolest locomotives, and I'll tell you why. Steam locomotives. Almost all steam locomotives are just black, and they have the number on it, and that's it. And they have different configurations, Hudson, Prairie, whatever, different wheel configurations. This is one of the only ones that has any kind of color to it. I always like the 746. It has like a bullet front end. See that? It looks like a bullet coming out of there. It's incredibly heavy, and the red and gold, or red and silver, yeah, red and yellow stripe look amazing on that. But I love the 746. That is a good-looking locomotive. I'm not sure what it's worth. I have to check again. But seriously, look at the front of that thing. Really cool. All right, now I'm going to open up the tender, because this says 746W on it. So obviously, I should have figured it out when I looked at the box before, but I didn't. So this is the 746 tender. I wonder if it's all black or if it has a stripe also. I, th I think it has a stripe, right? We'll see. It does. It's got the stripe as well. And it's got the Norfolk and Western name to it. So 
obviously, let me pick them both up. I don't want to do any damage. Hold on. I'll hold them by the bottom so I don't damage anything. But that's what it looks like. That is a really pretty looking locomotive, right? Steam locomotive. The North Lockham Western 746. Beautiful. Last two pieces in the box. Feels a little heavier. Santa Fe dummy. So it did, it did, it is in there, obviously. This is the Santa Fe B unit to the A unit. And again, this is a 2353. So it's a dual motor. So this was more, it should be more expensive or more valuable than the one in the last box. We had the six F3s. That was a 22 uh, model number Santa Fe. And it is indeed the B unit. And there was a 23 unit that my, in New Jersey, that was in the layout my father had set up that my mother just gave to her brother, my Uncle Frank. So he's got that one. So that 23 unit is like a lot like this one. I just don't know the differentiating between the years and the makes, but there are differences. I don't think my dad would have collected eight of the same thing. So there must be reasons why he has different versions. Then again, he did collect like, he has like seven or eight baby Ruth cars. He, he, he just loved them. So he may have collected them with the intent to sell them. And then as toward the end, he didn't have time to do anything. Um, so maybe he just didn't have time to go out and sell them at train meets. The last piece is another hopper car, 6456 hopper. So I do like the way that he packed things similar together. Um, this is a little eclectic, this box, because you have things from the 50s and the 40s in here. But like the F3 box, everything was pretty much the same uh, make from why now. I, I kind of like that. It's easier to deal with. Oh, this is a hopper car. It's not a uh, like the other ones. Lehigh Valley hopper car. There it is. And this number is, let's take a look, 2,500. It's a big number. I don't think they have paid numbers that high for a uh, post-war. So that's it. Hope you like this box. I did. I found it quite interesting. To me, the big takeaways, of course, the 746 steam locomotive, the Boston Main, one of my favorite engines, the GP9, and the uh, 23, 23 Series Santa Fe, which is a two-motor F3. So... I'm going to organize this stuff now and go to the valuing, the valuing portion of the show. Thanks. Well, this was a pretty neat box. I, I really like everything in here. It's uh, interesting. Um, so to start with on my left, we have the 2353 Santa Fe F3, which of course is the dual motor three in the second position is a dual as a two motors. So it's a heavier unit. Um, not sure of the years. I think it's the mid to late fifties, but I'll find out soon. We had a Lehigh Valley gondola car right over here. This maroon one. We had a New York Central boxcar, non-operating. Then we had the Lionel black, all-black gondola car. Over here, we had the operating Eagle boxcar, which is, we had a 6464 previously like this. I know we had the Alaskan, which was about $400, the Alaska 6464 boxcar. Then we had another Eagle um, but, uh, I forget what that was worth, but it was in, in the same, in the same area, but this one's operating. I did not know they made an operating car. So I'll have to value that as well. We have the red gondola car with six wooden barrels. I don't actually know if these barrels came with this from Lionel or if my dad put them together through aftermarket items. I'm not sure. Then we have the gray gondola car with the four red. It looks like they're supposed to be air tanks. We had the crane car right here. We had a yellow cattle car, or it's a livestock car, either cattle, sheep, goats, whatever's going to be in there. We had the refrigerator box car, also non-operating, but the doors are spring-activated, which is kind of cool. Then my favorite two pieces. Up in front, we have the 746. I believe it's a Hudson, but I'm not sure. Wheel configuration on this thing is 484, so I think it is a Hudson, but I'll have to see. The reason I'm not sure is because... Normally, the Hudsons are a standard type locomotive. This has the bullet front end, so I think it was more ornate than the other ones are. With its tender, it's the Norfolk and Western. And my favorite piece in the box, and one of my favorite line out pieces of all time that I went crazy about before, the GP9 Boston and Maine. One thing I just realized is another thing that's kind of odd about it see how the base is white, the railing and the base is white? I think every other base is either a gray or a black. I have to go back and see, so this one really stands out with, with the with the uh, contrast and how vibrant the color is. 
I don't think this would be practical in real life because obviously if you're running the locomotive, it's going to get, with all the garbage and the fuel and all the other junk around, it's going to get black pretty quickly. That's why a lot of engines are dark and they're grays and blacks. But, um, you know, I, I love this piece. So that's what we have today. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. Um, again, trains.com with a Z. If you want to purchase these items, they're all up there for auction. These will be going up there soon. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye, guys.